Mr. Tim Anderson, director for Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies, joins us via Skype out of Sydney, Australia, to discuss this matter with us. Mr. Anderson, thank you for joining us. Uh, tell us what you think about this move. Thank you. Yes, this, on the one hand, is a, a terrible blow against the integrity of the uh, shared internet, on the one hand. On the other hand, it shows that Washington is very deeply disturbed media, but also let's remember Yemen, Venezuela, there are other sites, some Canadian sites, um, a number of sites have been taken down. And so mm -hmm. the, the US is acting as though it is the owner of the internet and of a, a range of sites and uh, .com in particular, but also a number of other suffixes. So it's very concerned about its uh, propaganda war, particularly in West Asia, where it's been running eight wars of aggression. Um, over the last two decades. It feels that it is suffering in some way, and that's why it's moved to this extraordinary measures. What is it exactly suffering from? It's suffering from a loss of credibility that has presented uh, successive wars of aggression. They're all wars of aggression um, as somehow either on self-defense grounds or general protection grounds or humanitarian intervention grounds but in reality they've all been joined together as a uh, a project to create this new middle east that was announced in israel 15 years ago uh, mr anderson uh, the reason why has been has also been cited as as uh, uh, as disinformation i wonder what kind of disinformation is uh, is being talked about here well, yes, it's, um, uh, there are two levels of, of justification of this. One is uh, they are claiming they are moving against disinformation. Um, really, it means they're moving against um, media which oppose or have consistently run narratives distinct to um, the in backing these wars of aggression, particularly in, in West Asia. Uh, on the other hand, they also have a pretext which says that these organizations, for example, an organization called VeriSign, which is the main registrar of dot-com sites, is based in the U.S., although it's not a U.S. government uh, organization and it's registered lots of foreign organizations as dot-coms. The U.S. is now asserting, and it's not just now, of course, they did uh, a number last year too. There's well over 100 sites that they've uh, destroyed, sabotaged, shut down, uh, using the pretext that U.S. law sometimes designates uh, for example, the defense forces of Iran as terrorist groups, or they say they don't recognize the government of Venezuela and they will steal its assets. So they're using this unilateral coercive as well as the generalized pretext of acting against disinformation, which means information which is contrary to their propaganda war. Uh, Mr. Anderson, do you think it works? You know, as I'm pretty sure you're aware, it was about a year ago that the YouTube channel of Press TV was targeted a few years back. It was targeted by Ofcom, taken off air in some countries. And right now you see the website. Do you think if the mandates by uh, places and channels like Press TV was not done correctly, would they have been targeted the way they are today and do you really think that it's working that way you know that they are being targeted well i think you're referring to the fact that the the british regulator also took action against uh, iranian tv uh, most of these measures though are coming from the us and they're coming in a typically unilateral way and they will find some pretext rather for example there's a canadian website which had a dot com american herald tribune which was claimed to be linked to Iran, that was blocked. They opened up with a .ca, a Canadian website, and that's been shut down now too. So I think the US will find some pretext um, directly or through its uh, associates in different parts of the world to um, act in a very crude propaganda war, by, including by these means of sabotaging what had been in a customary sense, a, a shared internet with, with relatively civil um, interregulatory rules. Okay, many, many thanks. Okay. That's Mr. Tim Anderson, Director for uh, Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies out of Sydney. I appreciate your time, sir.